Hi, and welcome to this installment of Coach Paul's Adaptive Gym Class. And today I am lucky enough to have a co-star. This is Christy. Christy, say hi to everybody. Hi. What's awesome about today is we're going to be working and co-teaching. So therefore, I will be doing adaptations and she will be doing different adaptations. And you can kind of follow along with the teacher that best fits your ability and your needs. Um, today, as far as equipment goes, there is a list that's going to be on the Facebook page of the equipment you'll need, but um, if you were with us with the last installment, we used a regular shower towel, two milk jugs, two soup cans, and some paper plates. Those pieces of equipment will probably be used in just about every class we run, because I have a lot of friends that we work with that consistency and repetition is important. So we'll always start with the same similar type of warm up and the same similar type of cool down. So all that equipment, including the straight back chair, will probably be a part of every class. Today, the two added pieces that you're going to use is a simple deck of cards, and the best part is you don't even have to play with a full deck, but bump bum. And the last thing is we're gonna use a ball, but if you don't have a small ball available to you, you can use a stuffed animal or anything soft that we can later play catch with. All right, so right now, let's go ahead and grab a milk jug. Okay, and we're gonna come back over and you can actually set that down right next to you to start. We're just gonna march in place, get those legs up, pump those arms. Good job. Now, as we march, we're gonna punch across. Really get full extended all the way through. All the way through. Good job. And rest. Now, we're gonna take two hands and go straight up overhead. And reach. Good, now slowly go down to those toes. Nice job. Sit up straight, stand up straight, and march and go. Now this time we're gonna see how fast we can move. If you're my friends on wheels, you're gonna go speed bag in front, quick hands. Everybody else, fast feet, fast hands, quick as you can. Ready, set, go. Fast feet, go. Fast feet, fast hands. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Go ahead and grab your milk jug. Okay, you're gonna hold it with two hands just like this, straight out in front, and we're gonna rotate side to side. For those of us that are standing, just make sure that your feet are flat on the ground and you put your weight into your heels. Good job. All right, now we're gonna take that same milk jug and go straight over our head as high as you can reach and down to the floor. Make sure you engage that core. Keep the arms straight. Good job. Three more. Two more. One more. And rest. Now, one set of rainbows. So our arms are over our head, and we're gonna go down to the side, and up, and down the other side. Control the weight all the way through. Good job. Five more. For us that are standing, make sure you just keep your knees nice and soft and you can bend when you get to this other side. So our knees will bend slightly here and our knees will bend slightly. Good, and one more each side. And rest. Set it down. And one more run in place. Quick feet, quick hands. Ready, set, go. Fast feet, fast hands. Get those knees up quick as you can. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. All right, now we're gonna do a quick runner stretch. One leg forward, one leg back, hands on that front knee, lean over that front knee. For my friends on the wheels, if you're just leaning down and putting a little bit of pressure on that knee, that's great. Count it out with me. One, two, three, three four, four, five, six, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job and switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten. Good job. Stand up straight, sit up straight. Right arm across her chest. One, two, two three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. ten. Good job. And switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. We're going to put our arms out, arm circles, going forward. Ready? And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Now we're going to put our jugs away and we're going to find a deck of cards. And like I was saying, the best part is you don't even have to have a full deck. What we're going to do is there are four different suits or four different types of cards in a deck. There are hearts, there are clubs, there are spades, and there are diamonds. And each, and this will all be written on Facebook so you can follow along, but each different suit has a different exercise that we're gonna tie with it. Hearts are gonna be push-ups or wall push-ups. So we'll either jump down and do push-ups or we'll come over to the wall if we're in our chair and do wall push-ups. The best part with this is since it's all on video, you can pause set up whenever you need to, move to wherever you need to to accomplish the exercise, and then come back. So like I said, hearts are push-ups. The clubs are gonna be curl to press with the, uh, either with just your arms or the milk jugs or your soup cans. And then the spades, gotta find a spade real quick, there we go. Spades are gonna be arm jacks or jumping jacks. With the arm jacks, we're just going out to the side and down. And then last one, the diamonds. Got to find a diamond real quick. There we go. The diamonds are going to be wood choppers. Or if you're standing, we're going to do squats. And Christy will talk real quick about a good squat. So I'll show you from the front first. You want your feet hip width apart. You want to make sure your feet are flat on the ground. Your hips are going to go back first. And then you're going to push through your heels, make sure your knees stay out, and squeeze your butt. So we're going to drive up into a squat. So laterally, I'll show you. You can have your feet flat. You're going to bring your hips back first. You're going to come down, keep your knees out, and squeeze, and come up to standing. Very cool. And then for those of us on our wheels, when a diamond comes up, we're just going to do wood choppers. And when we do wood choppers, you're going to start on one side and go all the way to the other hip. And then the next one, you're going to go the other side and across. Okay, so it's like making a big X. The most important thing to focus on with both of these exercises is to keep your core engaged so that you protect your back and you're making sure you're doing this correctly. All right, for the purposes of the video, we're going to do four rounds. But when you play, you can keep going until either you get too tired or you get two doubles in a row. That means you draw two sevens in a row, two queens in a row, everything like that. And when you pull a card, whatever card you pull is the number of reps you're going to do. So if I pull a seven, I'm going to do seven reps of that exercise. If I pull an ace, I only have to do one. Does that make sense? All right. So Chrissy's going to pull a card. What do we got? Three of clubs. So we're going to do three reps. And what's clubs, Christy? Curl and press. Curl and press. And again, you can use your milk jug or you can just use your arm. And we're going to do, uh, I'm going to show one arm if you have balance issues. And Christy's going to do them both. Ready? Set. Curl. Press. Curl. Press. And remember, we're doing three, right? Yep. Last one. And good. My turn to draw a card. Do, 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 do. We got a four of spades. What spades again? Arm jacks or Arm jumping jacks. jacks. So for those of you on wheels, we're going out to our side, palms out, up as high as you can reach and back down. <laughs> that was four, four. right? That was four, <laughs> quick. Okay. That's the tough part. And here we go, we'll do one more each. All right, so we've got two of hearts. So that's push-ups, our wall push-ups. For those of us who want to just do a regular push-up who are super, super strong, just make sure your core is engaged and you're going to come down and up. For those of us like myself that like modified push-ups, you'll go on your knees and you'll touch your chest to the ground and come up. 
And then two different types of wall push-ups. If you're on your chair, you're gonna come up to the wall, get as close as you can and push away. Close as you can and push away. One step higher than that before the knee push-ups is a straight wall push-up. Walk away, come all the way down and up. Make sure when you go down that your elbows make a box or a square and go. Ready, we'll set, two, right? Two, <laughs> one, two. Good job, I'm gonna do an extra one. Just <laughs> I was thinking The about best it. part is you can modify this however you want, okay? You can double the number, you can cut the number in half, you can do whatever you want with this. This is a game you can play with anybody, anytime. You don't have to do it with me. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is, Christy, can you grab that yellow ball? And I'm gonna clear our space. Again, you wanna make sure you have as much open space as possible. And if you're by yourself, you can find a wall, and we're just gonna play catch. We're gonna switch between catching with two hands, then you catch them with one. But if you have somebody to play with, and again, you can use a stuffed animal, you can use a small ball, but you, want it, you don't want it to be a big ball. You want it to be a small ball so you can grab it with one hand. This is tough, but you can do it. Challenge yourself to put it on different shoulders, <laughs> move it around. I'm not as good as Coach Paul. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, I'm getting lucky. Basketball star Pass here. <laughs> now, we're gonna switch hands. You're gonna use the hand that's not as strong. If that's not possible, you can go back to your good hand. If you need to throw with two hands, that's okay too. Remember what we always say, it's not where you start, it's where you finish, and just do your best. So, non-dominant hand. Good. How am I better with my non-dominant hand? Because you're thinking more. <laughs> you're slowing yourself down. Please look at that. All right, now, whoop, the last one we're gonna do is we're gonna do a set of hot potato. Ready? Yeah. Set, hot potato, quick as can. Now remember, when you're doing this, you're not trying to throw it hard, it's quick. You're still putting it up right where she's giving me a target. When I'm looking for my target, I'm putting the ball right on her fingertips. Now, for those of you standing up, I want you to do a squat and then come up, okay? okay? As after you pass, squat and throw. Woo! Good, and now for my friends on wheels, we're gonna go up and then down and go. Up, down and go. Five more. Up, down and go. Up, whoop! Whoa! See, that would be going too fast. There we go, in three, two, last one. Good, all right. Now, the last one we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the beginning and we're gonna get that nice running quick feet going one more time. So, right where you are, march your feet. Pump those arms, pump those knees. Get your knees up for those of us that are standing. Yep, you wanna get it up even with your hips. Now, we're gonna take off and go as quick as we can. Quick hands, quick feet. Speed bag in front if you need to. Ready, set, go. I went too fast. <laughs> That's okay. You're never gonna get penalized for doing more work. 10, nine, nine eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. Rest those arms. Good marching feet. Good job. Now we're gonna punch across as we go. And while you're punching across, I just want you to think about the good part about this being on video is you can pause whenever you need to. So if you needed to get a drink of water and Coach Paul forgot to give you one, you can take your own. Punch all the way across. Really work on focusing on that body's midline. Cross and across. Good, and rest. We're gonna go back to the weights. Sure, yep. Okay, I'm gonna use the cans. Yep. All right, and we're gonna go curl to press. I'll add the squats in now. There we go. Now, what I wasn't doing a good enough job when I started is being slow and controlling the weight. The less sloshing you hear, the better. 
four, three, two, and one. All right, now stand still, turn those hands so your palms are backwards and your knuckles are pointing out towards me and the camera, and you're gonna go straight out, shoulder press in front. For this, make sure that your shoulders don't go up to your ears. Keep your shoulders nice and low. And it's a shoulder raise, there we go. Two more. One more. Good, now we're gonna go back to our T's, Y's, and I's. So going back from last week, it's out to a T, down, out wide to a Y, and down, and then up high to an I. Ready? T, Y, I. T. You're an incredible paw. Y. <laughs> I, T, Y, I, two more, T, Y, I, last one, make it good, last one, best one, T, Y, and I, nice job, set them down, now we're just going to march, this isn't about speed. I want to see how high you can get those knees. For my friends on wheels, I want to see range of motion and bringing those arms in a good pump. Cheek to hip. Cheek to hip. Good. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. We're going to finish it out with a good stretch. So. Let's start with the legs, runner stretch. One leg forward, one leg back, hands on that front knee. Lean over that front knee. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Switch legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Good job. One arm across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice job. Right hand to right shoulder, left hand to right elbow. Tricep stretch. Again, if that's too tough, just put the arm up straight and push on the elbow. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last one, arm circles going forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice job, give yourselves a round of applause. Good work, everybody. Real quick, I just wanna say thank you to Miracle League of Connecticut and Oak Hill Adaptive Sports for helping me bring uh, this program into your living room. Thank you to my lovely co-star, Christy, Thanks, for adding to the program. It's always wonderful to have friends. And last but not least, I want you to be on the lookout for another program we're gonna be starting called Coach Paul's Corner. That'll be a live Facebook feed uh, we're working on times and sort of things, but we'll be talking about different games you can do even outside of gym class. We'll be talking about things such as healthy eating, all different types of things. But to give you a little teaser, our first episode will be complete with a scavenger hunt. And so it's going to be fun. It's going to be live and it's going to be real. Thank you so much for allowing us to come into your homes and have a great day. See you next time.